Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Cliff Favor. And today I'd like to talk to you about something very, very important in our grooming process. And that's conditioners. Now, a lot of groomers have gotten away from conditioning because they don't like the results. Um, a lot of times it weighs down the coat, makes it very hard to dry, make it very hard to scissor. Um, and a lot of times even just leaves a residue. And so uh, we've gotten away from it. But the reality is we're using the wrong type of conditioners. When you understand the different ones, you can understand why we get those results. So the two types of conditioners that we have are emollients and humectants. Now emollients are basically fats and heavy oils suspended in water. Um, they're made to sit on the surface of the skin and they create a barrier. And they're actually hydrophobic. By that, I mean they repel water. So if we put this on, I would compare it to like bacon grease. We smear a layer over the top, it creates a barrier and holds moisture in. The problem is, is if we have dry skin, it just holds moisture in. Now, a lot of times you'll hear the term moisturizing and, and that's basically uh, what they're referring to emollients because it doesn't hydrate or add water. It just um, creates the barrier on that. And I want you to think about it. if I smeared bacon grease all over my hand and then I put water on there, what would happen with that water? It would just sit there. It's not going anywhere because we've got a barrier there. If I took a hair dryer and tried to dry it, it wouldn't dry well. Just imagine putting bacon grease on a poodle or a bichon. Think about how heavy that coat would be. So you can see why groomers a lot of times have gotten away from conditioning. Now, the other side of that is humectant. Now, what a humectant does is it's made to be absorbed into the skin and it draws moisture in with it. it doesn't leave a residue. It dries very quickly. It doesn't weigh down the coat. So we get all the positive effects without all the negative ones on that. So when we're doing this, realizing uh, most of the time we are trying to add moisture to the skin. If we're just creating a barrier, think about it. If I just put that bacon grease there and then I shampooed or used a shampoo, it would strip everything off. And so I'd have to condition again. And the next dog that I wash, I would strip it all off. And so you think about our own hands, what happens with that? A lot of times shampooing and conditioning, our hands get worse by the end of the day. They're getting all dried out and irritated because we haven't added moisture there. Flip side is if you look at a humectant, think of it more like a sponge and we fill the sponge up with water. So if I go to the next dog and shampoo, I just take a little bit of the water and, and oils off. I don't take all the water out. So we're actually going to gain again when we condition the next time. And so what happens with humectants is most of the time your hands are going to be better at the end of the day when you start with. Now, why do I say most of the time? Because not all humectants are created equal. There are definitely some that are better than others. And realize a lot of your our products are a combination of emollient and humectants on that. And there are specific places we would use those. So if you think about a short-haired dog, they need the extra fats and oils for protection. We still need humectants, but we're going to be a little heavier in the fats and oils. But if you take a product that's designed for a short-haired dog and you turn around and put it on a Bichon or a Poodle, there again, you're not going to be happy with the results. Humectants are important not only when we're dealing with routine care to maintain the hair and skin, and a lot of times prevent a lot of the, the skin problems, but they're also very important when we're treating skin problems because a lot of times that hair and skin gets very depleted. So we need to add moisture back. No different than going to your doctor when you have the flu and they say drink lots of water. We need that water to, to help clean out the cells of, of all the debris and toxins and that, as well as hydrating that. So we get a normal turnover of the cells on that. So I just think this is probably one of the most important things to understand. And it's most one of the most important things of how to pick the right products. With Yves Saint Bernard, the nice thing about it is that is the glory of what we do. We add humectants to all our products so that all our conditioning products, I should say, that that way we're hydrating and we're adding health back to the skin on that. 
And I know that when you get on the website, there's tons of products there and it can be very, very confusing. What I recommend is if you get in there, look around, don't understand things, give us a call. Suzanne Marchetti, Heather Hudson, myself, we're all here to help you. You know, I would much rather guide and direct you and talk to you on the phone than I would have you buy a product that's not going to benefit what you, you need. Because like I say, there's all sorts of different levels on there. And so we can guide and direct you to the best products there. So.